what's going on everybody we are back with some watch of realms and i have so many videos i want to make but we're going to start off with some summons today you'll have to wait for all the other videos i'm excited about i did decide to go ahead and jump back into some of the monthly cards just because i've been really enjoying the game and well it does actually help me make content for you all and since i'm back on the grind on the daily grind and we have a 2x i figured two birds one stone content enjoyment let's dive into it i got a lot of summons because i've been saving for quite some time um but we also did pick up some of the legendary summons because some of the packs had uh some legendary summons attached to it so i bought the monthly card i went back for the privilege card and then i did get um a level bundle so we'll hold on to that for the time being and uh probably not spend anything for quite some time yet again <laughs> seems i spend money every year like two months or so that's what or uh, every month and a half or so uh, it looks like in this game <laughs> but there are a ton of legendaries i'm still looking for if we just look at some of the characters that i'd love to have right zealous would be kind of cool to pick up um nocturne i'm actually kind of interested in as well in terms of like characters that are actually going to change my account well vierna hatsit hex salazar all four of these would be pretty massive for me uh, oh silas as well that'd be another one that i'd love to have of course we have some of the lords but i kind of put these in a separate category morrigan twin fiend torador those three in specific but any of the legendary lords would be absolutely insane as for epics pyros would be a big one um am i missing really any epic that i'd love to have i don't know if there's like an epic that i'd be like oh yeah that's gonna be huge obviously a lot of them are gonna be great in like faction and stuff so anyone that i don't have already which i think i have most of these would be cool so i'm not really looking for epics to be honest i'm really hunting those legendaries so the 2x legendary is gonna be pretty massive for me we also have the 10x for Keneza and kriya which i could go for but there are so many legendaries I don't have that I think I'm going to still stick with the 2X for the time being. Well, let's go ahead and dive in and, uh, you know, let me know how your summons are going so far. Let's start off with some 10 pulls here uh, with the rare summoning crystals. And we're starting off with the rare tax, you know. Well, that's, that's always nice. That's always nice. You know, we got to start off with just a little double rare tax, you know, that's fine. That's fine. I'm not. Uh, I am not in pain at all. I promise. Uh, start off pretty strong. <laughs> no. Okay. Oh, there we go. We go into a legendary third temple. Okay, that makes up for the two rare attacks. Let's see what we get. Come on, give us something good. Come on, let's see it. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Ooh. That is hype. Now that is actually. Oh, and we got a uh, Jankar, which I did not have, I believe. Wow. Okay. So that was actually an insane 10 pull. Silas is an absolute beast. This guy's just a insane single target marksman. And he's going to be excellent for gear rank three for me. He's going to be excellent in arena. He's going to be just amazing all around in so many different areas of the game. I've actually been building out Edril because gear rank three is one that I'm still not quite at stage 18 it's mainly because i just didn't care to invest in my marksman's all that much and i just have been farming gear raid one and gear raid two a lot to just get a lot of more gear that's basically been my like last week and a half two weeks inside of the game is just farming a bunch of gear so that i can actually gear up my characters um but uh wow is this guy gonna be an absolute beast i'm really really excited to use him let me see here um i don't remember uh I think I don't know his damage numbers on guild boss actually that's one area of the game I have to test him out and, and compare to some other characters but I do think he's going to be quite good compared to some other characters I'm using like I think I'm using Razak and Maul in there and I think he's going to be a nice little replacement for that and I also have Lunaria from the previous um shard summon so he is going to be an absolute beast honestly uh in a lot of different game modes I'm very very excited to pick him up wow that was a huge pull as I said there was like five or so that are kind of game changing and he was one of those five so that was an amazing start to our summons and you know what you can rare tax me all of the day all day if you don't 
got 50 summons or 40 summons we got three rare taxes and, and one legendary um you know that's uh that's okay i'll take it i'll take it <laughs> uh let me go ahead and start up a char some characters here and uh, come right back we're back in it we got a lot of space let's go do go ahead and do some more 10 pulls here um this is gonna be another epic here what epics am i really looking for more dolores more anna honestly um another e drill copy would be quite nice outside of that mall i guess yeah mall i don't really have at awaken five he would be kind of nice to get there but honestly i'm not really looking for like a ton of additional epics another baron copy is actually pretty cool um not gonna complain about that i think he mine is at like awaken three at the current moment so you know any basically any epic that i don't have at awaken five is gonna be someone that uh, i'll be pretty happy with with dolores and uh maul kind of being at the top of that list so we have seven divine summons and i think i want to pull for another legendary so we get two legendaries today if we get here or get, get one here then maybe maybe we'll stop and ooh, there's an e-drill very happy with that i know some people get triggered by the sharing but it just doesn't work well with blue stacks for me i don't know why it, it just doesn't function um but uh if we get another legendary here at the divine summons maybe i'll pause and uh not do the, the ruby summons or diamond summons but i think i just want to go ahead and summon with some of my diamonds here damon what a cool looking character one of my favorite looking characters in the game actually i think he looks just absolutely amazing pretty good one um happy to have another copy of him and azoth okay i think azoth is close to awaken five for me so that's a pretty nice one Ooh, here we go here's our second legendary of today what are we gonna get what are we gonna get oh wait is this is this valkra let's get another copy of valkra i'm almost certain this is valkra's cutscene. yeah that's valkra right there wow i got another copy of valkra <laughs> Oh, uh, these cutscenes are so cool. I'm not going to skip them. If there's any game that has done like the cutscene timing right, it is Watcher of Realms. I think that they have done an excellent job of like placing cutscenes right when you summon a legendary. That is the time for it. I think it's super sick and uh, I do not mind watching it. But another Valkyra copy. I actually don't even know what her Awakened one gives me. And I believe this is my Awakened one, but... Uh, She's solid. I don't really use her all that much anymore. In fact, she's one of my only legendaries that isn't promoted up to six. Um, so I actually don't even know what I'm getting with her. So an extra attack range. That's not like a huge deal. It does help. It does help. You know, um, I'll probably not like feed her um, or I'll probably not like consume her for like the currency, which some people do in assault uh, because I just would rather start progressing my legendaries and you know who knows maybe at one point i'll bring one of them up to legendary five or awaken five you know don't think i will but it might happen dallin here and uh last divine summon you know maybe we'll go for three legendaries today maybe we will maybe we will scorch okay our epic pulls have been not that great <laughs> um but let's just, let's just do another temple let's let's keep going oh this is the 10x whoops all right, well, if we get a legendary here, then, uh, you know, we're rolling. <laughs> Let's see. Come on. What epic did we get? Oh, Siren. Okay. Uh, let's head back over to the 2X here. And let's go for one more legendary for the video. Um, three legendaries. That's a lot. And some game-changing pulls. I am super excited for Silas. Double Baron pull. Wow. That is three Barons today. He's definitely awake in five at this point. So that's, I guess that's kind of cool. Triple Baron today. Wow. That is uh, kind of nuts. So then Lee Lee here. I'm getting close to like awakening five, basically all the epics. And I'm going to have some of the, the soul stones left over. So I'll be able to like kind of wrap up anyone else that I don't have at awaken five, which probably will be like Dolores or Maul. Come on. Or Anna. Actually, Anna is not someone I've somewhat a lot of here we go here is the final legendary of the video give me something good give me something good give me another cutscene Ooh, i don't i don't recognize this guy is this brook here is this brook here i said i don't recognize him but oh. 
Actually, I actually do not know the name. Maybe, maybe I do. Maybe I already said it, but this is a sick cutscene. What the heck? Okay. It's King Hars. Oh, King Hars. Wait a second. This guy's the Lord. Hold on. That's actually huge because I use this guy all the time. Oh my goodness. He's the Lord. Wow. That is so crazy. My first Lord is for the, the Northerners. I mean, you know, I do use Vortex. I use like Maul, you know, we run with uh, Olag. I use them quite frequently. So, and Sadie actually I got recently. So definitely not mad about this. He is the, the defender, my first legendary defender. Uh, actually, no, I, I take that back. I have Azure, which I do not use. Um, actually don't know exactly what this guy is really capable of. I haven't looked too in depth. Like I know um, somewhat of they're gonna be good in, but I don't look super in depth to the Lords unless I'm like researching for what I need or what I want or a video or anything like that. I, I reinvest into their kits. And King Harz is someone that I am actually kind of curious about here. So we got um, a little bit of shield increasing. Whenever they have a shield, they reduce physical damage taken, um, deals damage, inflicts freeze, gains a shield. Okay, and then just deals damage and then gives you extra rage regen. This guy's probably insane for gear rate too, like absolutely disgustingly good. Probably really good for uh, artifact rate too, as kind of like your tank. Wow, I'm actually really excited to build this guy out. Yeah, um, very happy with that. Wow, I cannot believe. What are the chances of that? It's like 0.12, right? 0.08? Yeah, 0.08%. So one out of every like 12 or so legendaries is going to be a legendary lord. So we were kind of due for a legendary lord, to be honest. Um, but that that was that was really, really cool. Cool. So you can kind of see the legendaries that I have. They're all the way down here because, you know, this is how I sort. But um, these are kind of the four or the three new ones here. They're sitting down here with Azure and Sadie with with uh, King Hars here. And then Sadie, I could probably create just an absolutely insane -o gear rate two, which is probably what I'm going to be going for. Try to push to to the max stage here. It's a state. It's a. Dungeon that I don't like doing all the like the cheese strats because um, I found that it ended up failing for me on auto, which I did not like. So I'd rather just beat it straight up, but it might just be hard to do that. But with stronger defenders than I had before, I think it's going to be a lot easier. And of course, having that legendary Lord, like it's a pretty big difference between, you know, what I was running before. If I look at the North Throne here, I didn't have Isolde. Um, and she's excellent, by the way, for gear rate too as well. Um, not only that, but she also is the Lord, as I said. But you can see here with the rare Lord, you get a little bit extra basic attributes, and then you get 10% of their max HP for 15 seconds. Um, and the more you have on the team, the more it takes effect. For the Epic, it's double that faction basic attributes, which is all the Lords, right? You just get 5% more. Uh, but then you double the shield, right? And then for the Legendary Lord, it's essentially going to triple the previous shield that I had. Um, and which is just crazy and then check this out other allies gain a shield equal to 15 percent of their max hp and the defense of shielded faction allies is increased like this lord ability is absolutely disgusting especially when you're running with like olag for example these two defenders are going to be able to frontline so so well for me that is actually hype super super excited about that and i'll have to dive into it more but that was probably some of the best pulls I could have asked for on my account. Um, a character that can really just streamline gear raid two for me that uh, I would like to kind of push for. I've been pushing for gear raid one a little bit just because I think it's more, more interesting, but um, this is going to kind of redirect my focus back to gear raid two. And I also got someone that is going to be able to help me out in artifact raid. And I got Silas. Ooh, am I excited about Silas? Super, super excited about Silas. So I'm definitely going to be working on those two. Um, I was working on Eadril and Theowin for Gear Raid 3, which I probably will still work on Eadril since I just got her last Awaken here, which is actually huge. Um, 
you know you could extend this ultimate by insane amounts and she could just knock down entire waves by herself it's like really really powerful um but yeah i'm gonna have to work on all these different characters i'll probably start saving my soul stones for the epic lords because they're super rare to acquire i don't know i've been debating whether or not i wanted to go and put it on anna here which would be actually a really nice upgrade because i cannot seem to summon her at all and look at that actually baron is already he's already awakened five so um i take it back i do not need any more baron copies getting triple baron copies is kind of uh odd <laughs> um i'll have to figure out what i want to do with all the the baron copies down here how much resource do you actually get yeah 100 of the tokens i mean i'm just gonna go ahead and and, and take the tokens now and see what I could actually pick up. May as well, may as well do that. Continuing on with the video because I'm, I'm kind of curious. Um, because I haven't really looked too in depth. Look at that, I can buy a Baron Soulstone. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I mean, I actually think I would prefer the food. I think I'd actually prefer the food. I don't know. I don't know. I can get the XP bonus, and I can also get a specific Soulstone. I don't know. Maybe it's actually just worth kind of sitting on. On, on like 400 of them just to see if I find any that are uh, rare like I, I have a greed now so a greed soul stone would be pretty nice you know huh. I'll have to be kind of keeping an eye out for that but thanks for watching everyone that was exciting I am super hyped and I have a lot of projects to get started on so I'm off to do that and I'll see you all for the next one